Hello. <clears throat> As I said last week, I will be talking about uh, the movie Phantom Phantom Threat today. Blah. And um, here it is. I will uh, make sure not to really spoil the movie because um, I know there are people who have not seen this movie. Um, and that's fine. Um, but it is a very good movie. Um, it got nominated for a bunch of awards, including Academy Awards. Um, I personally wouldn't necessarily put it in my top five films of uh, 2017. That's just me. But it was a very good movie. Um, I'd say at least an honorable mention of the best, I would put it. Um, that's just me, my own thoughts. Uh, anyone viewing it who has seen it or perhaps sees it after seeing this, watch it and might think otherwise. Or you might not like it at all. Um, but the movie stars Daniel Day Lewis, um, Vicky Crepes. I think that's her name, how it's pronounced. She's a... Uh, she's from Luxembourg. <clears throat> so, I had not heard of her since, uh, or before this film, um, but, uh, yeah. She has been in quite a bit of movies. Oh, she was in, a, in a, a Most Wanted Man. I did see that. Um, I don't quite recall uh, her part in that film, but um, I haven't also watched that in a, quite a while, but um, that was a good movie. Anyway, uh, back to Phantom Thread. Uh, she and Daniel Day-Lewis... Um, Basically, in this film, Daniel D. Lewis is a, you know, he's a fashion designer. He makes dresses, and um, in particular to girls of the higher, the high class. And um, he uh, is, he has OCD, uh, you could say, to the max. He's very controlling of how things are done, not just with his work, but about his day. And, Everything. He has like a specific routine he likes. And, um, those, uh, Daniel Day Lewis's characters, Reynolds Woodcock and, um, Vicky Crepes's, uh, character, Alma, Alma, uh, Ellison, uh, they meet when he goes to a restaurant and she's a waitress. And, uh, she catches his interest, and soon a relationship develops. Um, first, it begins fine, but then, because of the nature of Reynolds, things don't seem to, you know, they don't seem to truly become or uh, it, things don't go as how she thought they would basically and that's uh, though I guess that is to be expected you know he's uh, he has he's very charismatic and charming so you know first she becomes like his assistant um, she uh, you know, he thinks she's like the perfect shape a woman, like her physique is perfect to him, and uh, yeah, but uh, Leslie Manville, Manville man, uh, she plays uh, his, Reynolds' sister Cyril, and uh, she's, she essentially manages all the uh, day-to-day operations in, in the business in the house and they just she's very she's huge in uh, 
his life. Very big presence in that. And yeah, that's essentially the rundown. Um, to give and the performances are really good. They're very great. Uh, great. Um, Day Lewis got his uh, another Academy Award nomination. Leslie Manville got an Oscar nomination for supporting actress. Yeah, so this was his sixth Oscar nomination. I just wanted to make sure of that. Uh, this was Day Lewis's sixth Oscar nomination. He had three previous wins. Personally, I think the one he deserved it the most, or was uh, the Oscar he deserved it the most, was uh, My Left Foot. Um, not that his performances in There Will Be Blood or uh, Lincoln were bad. <clears throat> they were not. But there's just like a performance or two performances I preferred uh, over Dave Lewis's those years. Um, that's just me. Uh, you can, you might agree with me, you might disagree, and it's all fine. Um, but he did deserve an Oscar nomination for this film. Some thought he. Uh, should have won so he could have four Oscars. I don't. Um, I still believe uh, Gary Oldman winning for Darkest Hour as Winston Churchill was deserved, but uh, this performance is also good. Um, they're both great actors. I prefer Oldman myself over Day Lewis. Um, Oldman is my favorite actor of all time. I think he's the best actor. So in a way, I am sort of biased in that regard, but everybody is biased. But uh, I also kind of think uh, some weren't exactly looking at, some, say, Day Lewis's performance exactly in this film in terms of winning an Academy Award. I think because this is supposed to be his last film. He says it's his last film, and um, as a result of that, I think many people wanted him to win one more Oscar, um, where Gary Oldman didn't have an Academy Award. And um, I'm not saying that he won because, well, well, you know, Gary Oldman has no Oscar, and he's only been nominated once before, so they had to give it to him. No, no, no. I'm not saying that at all. Um, could that have been part of a decision as to give him an Oscar? Maybe. Um, the Oscars do like to give off, give awards to those essentially screwed before out of wins and or nominations that they deserved. That could have been a factor in it, but I also think he gave the best performance of last year. It's just me. That's just my opinion. It's just my thoughts on the whole matter. You don't need to agree with me. You disagree, you disagree. But, but, but I was just so floored by his portrayal of Winston Churchill. But Daniel Day-Lewis is also incredible, deserving of an Oscar nomination. When? No. Perhaps if not, if Oldman wasn't nominated for whatever reason this year, if Oldman's film came out la next year or so, maybe Day Lewis would have won. Maybe. I'm not sure, because then you'd have to fill in the spot Oldman had. And um, I guess that would be the question of who. Um, I think uh, James Franco and The Disaster Artist was really good. But, yeah, whatever. You know... Day Lewis was really great. He was really good. Um, I actually would have thought um, Vicky Cripps would have been nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. Honestly, I think she gave us a, that good of a performance. Um, I hadn't heard of her, or I guess I had seen her in a film before, but I guess I'm not so familiar with her body of work and her face and everything she's done that 
I saw this movie, I didn't really, you know, I didn't recognize her, but she's really good in this. Might check out some of the other films she's done, because she's incredible. I mentioned Gary Oldman a lot there, and uh, Leslie Manville, rightfully deserving an Academy Award nomination. Um, she was Oldman's ex-wife. She's his ex-wife and the mother of his first child. Sort of, uh, sort of, uh, <laughs> tying this sort of to Gary Oldman in a way. Which isn't exactly a bad thing. Um, Day Lewis is uh, is very good. He's great and even. Um, but I'm not sure if this will be his truly last movie. Um, for one, it's out of character that he announces his retirement. He's retired before a time or so, and um, like a time or two, and he just went away. No announcement. No nothing. He just stepped back and did other things, made shoes. But, you know, he then came back because of a strip and people involved in the movie just wanted him to play a part, and he did. Um, will that happen again? Maybe. There, now you can see the movie. I just don't know. I don't know. I think if in ten years we have heard nothing zilch from Danny Lewis, I will then believe he retired. Um, but until then, uh, let me be a bit skeptical. Um, just have because of how out of character that is for him. But if this is his last film, it is a it is quite a film to go to end on. The film is directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, who also wrote and directed it, and he's known for films like The Master, Boogie Nights, uh, Inherent Vice, which I have never seen, um, and uh, There Will Be Blood, which was his their first, collabor first collaboration of Dave Lewis and Anderson. They've made a uh, you know, he's made quite a few, uh, quite a bit of good films. Um, his uh, his directing style is unique. You can, in a way, tell it's in when you're watching his films, and uh, it's not a bad thing. You know, obviously, you know, I mean, directors have their styles. Some, though, I guess you could say, like Kubrick, he did so many various genres you couldn't exactly pin something on him pin his particular film or style exactly on him, but he did have traits that follow through. Same with Anderson, he has traits that follow through all of his films, but yet he does such a variety of movies. It's it's always interesting to see a movie from Paul Thomas Anderson. It's always interesting. Um, I would recommend any movie fan to watch his movies. That's just me, if you're really into movies. Uh, watch this movie, it's really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I apologize for the, for talking about Gary Oldman a lot, but... Uh, yeah. A lot of talk about Day Lewis getting an Academy Award. That didn't happen, but... He has three Oscars, I think uh, he's fairly happy with being uh, awarded as much as he has been in his uh, career, um, whether it will continue on after this film or if it has truly ended. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting movie, it's a very good movie, it's different, but uh, <clears throat> I do believe it's worth a watch. Um, it's the performance Dave Lewis gives is unlike and he's given before. I mean, he gives more remarkable performances. Um, like Gary Goldman. You know, both do uh, incredible work. Their acting is always good. Even if they're in a movie that 
isn't up to the up to snuff in some of the performances he they've compared to some of the other performances he's given in or they've given in other movies. I have to say it would have been interesting to if I or it would be interesting if Gary Oldman and uh, Daniel Day Lewis ever acted in a movie together. That would be quite something. I would just really like to see that happen. Um, Gary Oldman's a chameleon. Day Lewis, in a way, is a chameleon also. I don't believe to the degree that um, Gary Oldman is, because he disappears, I think, completely. The thing with Day Lewis, I've always, I've always been able to see Day Lewis. Gary, Gary Oldman, I've been like I'm watching films and like, well, who's that? And it dawns on me it's Gary Oldman at some point, or even as the credits roll, and see his name and who he played, and I'm like, wow, that was him. Amazing. But hopefully, you know, Oldman and Day Lewis will collaborate one day. I think it would be quite, quite the film if they did. Um, or at least, let, let's just say this the performances would be fantastic. It would be. They, they would be just amazing and great. And, um,. Maybe the world should see that. A film with starring Gary Oldman and Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but, uh, yeah, bottom line, this film's good. Great, even. Um, I'd recommend it. Um, if you've seen it, what do you think? Do you agree with the consensus that it's a good film? A very well-made film? interesting story, great performances, all that, or do you disagree and didn't think it was very good? Um, you know, or if you haven't seen it, has this persuaded you, or do I go on too long that tangent that you've, you know, you, you just don't want to bother? Or maybe you've already switched off by this point. In any case, um, that's me, that's what I recommend you could watch. I think it's a very good film. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I've got for you today. Um, it's coming Friday. I've got an idea for a video about a similar topic of last week um, regarding Friday the 13th. Um, I'm not going to talk about it all now, but... Uh, just stay tuned and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you all have a good day, good week, and I'll see you next time.